It's time to review Dindajarin and the Child. It's Mando Mondays, guys, and you know what that means. It's time to open up some Star Wars. Hey, guys, me, your host, Super Zorro. Thank you very much for tuning in, and today for Mando Monday, we've got this awesome action figure to review. It is the cardback version of the Mandalorian and the little child, little baby Yoda. Sorry, the child. People get upset in the comments when I call it Baby Yoda. <laughs> I know it's not actual Baby Yoda. I do know the stand I do know the timeline. <laughs> but this is the child in this packaging, and we've got Mando, Mando and a bunch of accessories. I believe this is a Walmart exclusive. Before I go ahead and bust this open, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging itself. But before we go ahead and bust this thing open, let's take a look at the awesome packaging that it is in. This is a retro card back that's meant to look like the old card styles that we had back in the day. And these are the, the vintage card collection, or the vintage collect collection from Star Wars. I don't really collect these, but I've been given a bunch of them by Hasbro for review purposes. So thank you very much, Hasbro. I really do appreciate it. So this might be my, sli my slippery slope into the three, well, back into the three inch. I haven't really played with 3-inch figures for quite quite some time. I do have a collection of them though, including Load from the Clone Wars and Rebels and a bunch of Black Series as well that I got when uh, the Entertainer was shutting down here in the UK. We, so we, we, start, we start seeing them turning up cheap, so I picked up loads of them. Since it's gone back to being the Vintage Card Collection though, or the Vintage Collection, I've never really bothered uh, uh, collecting these, but there are a few that I would like to get, and they've just given me a bunch of them, like I said, as a part of Mando Mondays. So thank you very much to Hasbro for hooking us up. And once again, this figure has been provided to us by Hasbro, completely free of charge to celebrate Mando Monday. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. It's got the Star Wars Mandalorian logo on the top there with his real name along with the Mandalorian. You can see him in his Beskar armor on the right. He's got his scuffed up armor there on the left hand side and the, in the bubble packaging with Baby Yoda. Uh, the little uh, thingy that he comes with, a bunch of weapons, some... Um, Ignot pieces, and his other head is back there. The kind of logo on the bottom there, and this nice little sticker on the front. I believe this is a Walmart exclusive in the United States, and there are a bunch more to collect in the series. In this series, I definitely would like to get Hondo Onaka, as well as the new Darth Maul. So please do stay tuned, and plus we've got the Act 5s as well. Stay tuned, because I may get more of these, who knows. And this is VC17, sorry, 177 uh, in the series. Right, guys, let's go ahead and bust him out of the packaging. All right, guys, let's go ahead and break this bad guy out of the packaging. I'm so excited. It's Mando Monday. Mando, Mando, Mando. Okay. That, that was quite delicate for me. That was quite delicate. I could have probably gone ham on this. But I didn't. All right, so he's got his rifle there. If I take that out first. Slide that out. And we've got the little child little three inch figure he is tiny we all thought the six inch one was tiny oh my god it's the exact same it's the exact same figure just in a just smaller oh my god it's tiny he's got little arms all right i gotta show you that all right then we've got the unmasked head how does it look in the three inch it don't look too bad in the three inch what did they do design it in three inch then blow it up to six inch to make it look that god awful six inch one we've getting. Oh my god. If the six inch one looked look like the three inch one, I'd get it. <laughs> the one thing that's put that's put me off, you know, re getting the best car armor one in six inch is that god awful head sculpt. Right, and there are these little armor pieces here, uh, the Ignot pieces, but I'm struggling to get them out because of the. There's a nice piece of solid tape on there. There's a little stack of them there. Well, that's cool. And we've got a smaller one there. My god. So they're like the little... Were they the... I can't remember what, what they called them, but basically didn't he use these to basically melt down and turn these into his armour, if I remember rightly. And then oh, he's got the jet, he's got his jetpack on this one as well, and it slots into the back of the actual cape on this one, I think. Oh no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It slots the side of the cape. Ooh, right. Won't need that anymore. Bye. 
All right, so here he is out of the packaging. This is a really cool looking figure. You'll see it probably better up close on the desk cam. Uh, but the head is on a ball joint, so you can make him look up and down, left and right and stuff. His arms do lift up at that top thing. That pauldron goes over the top of the armor joint pretty nice. You can rotate his arm forwards, backwards and up. There's also the elbow hinge. Let me see where that is. It's just there. Bend. Okay, so the arm, the arm bends in pretty well as well. So there's a nice bend there. And the hands are on ball joints. Um, abdomen, we've got the abdomen crunch there. No further waist swivel, but you can crunch him around on that hinge. He has got, obviously, his belt that goes around him, so that does hinder that hinge a little bit. And his cape is meant to sit on that shoulder pad, so when you try and move it across, it doesn't look as it doesn't look right, it doesn't sit flush. It sits flush over the shoulder pad. Um, his legs can lift out, not very wide because of the hour pieces, as well as forwards. He has got a top thigh cut, though, and a decent knee hinge that also rotates at the boot. And the feet are on rocker... Sorry, are they on ball joints? You can rock them back and forth, but not left and right. But there are holes in the feet, should you wish to use a display base with the figure. So, not too bad. It's been a long time since I've had a figure of this scale to review. I remember how tiny they are. He does come with his little jetpack as well. So, that just slots into the, sl into the piece here. So many pieces. Right, that slots in just to the side there, look. At the side of the cape. It goes pretty deep in as well, and it sits pretty decently. And then the cape just slides under and back on the shoulder. So that's pretty good. His pistol is already holstered in his arms. See if I can get that out and have a look. There we go. So his gun as well. It's a silver gun with a brown hill, just like the Black Series. Just a tinier version of it. So that's pretty nice. And get that back in. There we go. And then, of course, he's got his long rifle, which is the same again as the Black Series, just smaller, with the brown hilt and the brown sort of wraps here. Oh, it's black on this one, though. It's a black sort of barrel on this one. But it does have that little nub thing, so we can technically put it in, but it's not going to want to do it with all this attached. If you want to put the gun on the back, you're going to have to take the backpack off, sorry, the, the jetpack off, to use the to use the little nub in the there on his back to do that. You can't actually put the. I don't think you can have the jetpack as well. We can give it a whirl and see if it works. Okay, let's see if I can get see if I can get all the pieces on him at once. <laughs> nah, it's not going to work. Yeah, because the gun's in the way now. It's a shame. You can't have all the pieces on him at once. You have to choose between whether you want the you know, the jetpack or whether you want the gun on his back. <laughs> in all fairness, I don't really use this gun because you don't really see him use it in the series all that much. He tends to go full pistol, so I tend to use his like display mine with pistols rather than anything else. So we have got our miniature version of the child here as well. Which is basically just the same as the 6 inch black series figure. But just a smaller version. Uh, the head even moves left and right just like the other one. Not up and, There's a little bit of give to go up and down but not much. And the arms do lift out as if he's shouting hurt me. But the problem is his arms, if you pull them, if you go too far, his arms just will pop out and they are just little ball joints that just pop in and out. I had this trouble with the, with the Black Series figure and the arms kept popping out all the time, I don't know when I'm trying to pose him. And I don't think the hands, do they have any further articulation in the hand? No. No, the hands are static. So you can just move the little arms around. But still, it's definitely kind of cute. You'll see that properly again up close on the desk cam. Come on, we'll get you something to eat. And then, of course, we've got the little... Little canister. Little bucket piece. That's pretty nice. It just little hinge just slits into the top there and just pushes in. Nothing really too crazy. I 
just slots back together. Right guys, I'm going to go down to the desk cam to give you guys a little close person look at the Mandalorian. We'll do the head swap on the desk cam because you'll be able to see it better. We'll take a look at all the accessories again on desk cam when you can see them. Like I said, it is pretty hard to see them with my big chubby hands looking at these tiny little figures. So we'll take a close look on the desk cam. Alright guys, here is out of the packaging looking awesome. I'm loving that beat up armor look. It looks so cool with all the dinks and dents in it. It just looks so battle worn like he's been in the proper in the wars. Loving it. The figure itself is very nice for a 3 inch figure, there's a lot of detailing that's gone into this thing. And this is a the Walmart exclusive 3 inch uh, figure, and it's just so nicely done, based on the Mandalorian from Season 1. They've done a great job at the paint work, I've got no issue with any of the plastic work, no hinge issues, it's just an immaculate figure that's been well designed and crafted. Even the cape, I'm happy, I'm happy with the cape on the 3 inch one. I hate the caves on the 6 inch, at least that sits flush to his shoulder and looks decent. The 6 inch ones look awful. This one looks okay. And then of course we've got the child, the asset, the little little guy, the main star of the show, the baby Yoda! He's super cute. The 3 inch version is a... Ident oh, I'm dropping my phone. Uh, it's identical to the 6 inch figure in every way, shape and form, guys. Um... It's exactly the same, they just scaled it down to 3 inch, I think. Because it looks identical to the Black Series 6 inch figure. Um, I have changed the head on my 6 inch one. That's the 6 inch one. I'm using the head that came with the Mandalorian in the uh, Galaxy of Adventures pack. So I have quickly changed mine over. And you can see the little nub on this one a little bit better. Because the other one doesn't look like he's got a neck. So my little baby Yoda has a bit more of a neck. This one's based obviously on the one from the season one, so he's going to be a little bit smaller because he's a he's a baby. He's got a little bit older as season one, as season two goes on, I think. But yeah, loving the little figures. These little child figures are awesome. I really like them. And moving him to one side, we have got the little um, the arm pot that he keeps the web the money in. Oops! Oh no, that's just gone flying. But yeah, he's got the little the little um, thing that he can put the money inside. Or well, the best car is his bounty, wasn't it? The best car pieces, and there's a single best car piece here as well. Let me place that down and see if you guys can see it. So it's got the little seal there in the top left corner. So that that all slots inside the little canister, like so. And then the little lid piece will just fit on top, which is pretty good. I wish they would give us this in the 6 inch figure because they don't they haven't included this in the 6 inch figure which is a shame. And I can confirm that once all the little best car pieces are in there, the lid will slot back on nicely so you can keep them in there so you don't lose them. Mando, stand up. I'm having trouble keep keeping Mando stood which is a bit of a pain. And there's the gun. Um, same as the Black Series 6 inch one, just a 3 inch scaled down version of it, but the paint job is actually nicer on the 3 inch than the 6 inch. They've added so much more detailing, the one for the 6 inch has just got the brown hilt and the rest of the damn thing is just silver. So, it's a good job they repainted it for this series, I like it. Right, I want to go ahead and take a look and see what this unmasked head looks like on our Mandalorian, so let's go ahead and place it on our figure. Why is the three inch head so much nicer than the six inch one? What did they do wrong with the six inch one? That six inch face looks awful. The three inch one actually looks like Pedro Pascal. It actually looks like the actor. What happened to that six inch sculpt? <laughs> the three inch one looks really nice. As you can see there, the detailing is real good. It's photorealistic. I really like that. I'm really happy with that. What do you guys think? That's a decent face for the three inch figure. I just can't believe they got it wrong so badly for that six inch variant. Damn. But guys, what are your thoughts? Oh, I've dropped him, I'm trying, I'm trying to do my outro and he's falling over. So guys, what are your thoughts on these awesome action figures? Let me know in the comments. And if you're new around here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. But guys, let, let's head on back to the main cam so we can take a close... Well, back to the main cam to finish off this video. I'm waffling. I'm going to go. <laughs>
Let's go back to the main camera, finish off the video. So guys, what are your thoughts on the, on this Mando figure? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this 3 inch review and you want to see more 3 inch reviews on the channel, then please let us know, because I'd love to hear back, back from you guys and what you think, whether you think the 3 inch figure line, we could there's a place for them on the channel again. Let me know in the comments down below. I can give you a playlist of all my older 3 inch figures if you also want to see those, including the Rebel line and uh, Clone Wars and all sorts of other good 3 inch figures. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, may the Force be with you.